That looked bad. Are you all right? Let me know you're all right. Bad luck today. That must be incredibly disappointing. Who would you say is your biggest rival at the moment? It looks like you've invested heavily in the development of new parts. How will not making Q3 affect your strategy tomorrow? Appreciate your time. Formula One returns to Monte Carlo once again today, home to the world-famous Monte Carlo Casino, first opened in 1863. And, of course, a certain road race, first held here in 1929. There's no greater an occasion, no more valuable a win than the Monaco Grand Prix. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today, though, ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1 mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race ending barriers. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Perez, Charles Leclerc and Sainz, Norris, Ricardo, Gasly and Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Raikkonen, Lance Stroll and Russell, Giovinazzi, Latifi, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. Vettel, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty and more. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish.
That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. It's the one that everyone wants to win, and they've only gone and done it. What a fantastic result here at Monaco. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Stappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Moore. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars, as well as showing a lot of maturity and patience in difficult situations. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races... performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You were cutting your way through the field during the race. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations, isn't it? Do you have any comments about the collisions? Great. Well, that's everything. <laughs>